When architects discuss proportion, they refer to the degree of symmetry and or harmony of a part or whole of a building. Even as early as 15 BC, Vitruvius taught proportion in relation to the orders of architecture. This neoclassical style of entry is an adaptation of classicism, which became very familiar on Georgian, colonial, federal, and even vernacular style homes like the Cape Cod. It typically features pilasters and an entablature. Egyptians used mud, bricks, and stone for construction. While the pyramids had dramatically pitched surfaces, other buildings had sloped walls too. One of the reasons for this was to ensure the structural stability of buildings made from sun-dried mud brick. The Isaac Bell House in Newport, Rhode Island was designed by McKim, Mead, and White. The house is an example of the shingle style with various porches and gables, creatively styled columns, simplified trim details, and of course a shingle facade and roof. Windsor Castle is a complex of medieval buildings that occupy 13 acres in the county of Berkshire, England. The castle has a rich history as fortification and residence. It was originally much smaller, designed with only a fortified tower and surrounding courtyard. Charleston is the oldest city in South Carolina with scores of historic architectural examples. The city's wide range of styles rivals most in the U.S. and includes Georgian, Federal, Italianate, Victorian, and Greek Revival. Vernacular is a word that architects like. The word describes buildings that use local construction materials, methods, and traditions. Thus, the aesthetic of the building is recognizably particular to a specific location rather than appearing generic.